Ow. Oh, I hate these beds. I always wake up with a stiff neck. What's the limit on our um on how many people wow. need to be sleeping? Because that time it got up to um eighty percent. I think it's the time thing. So probably you just managed to get to bed before it triggered. Did you have to put a staircase in front of the window? <laughs> what? Yeah. No. Um. I mean, you can probably take that down now. What, so everyone can just look into your house. <laughs> No, so that you can't look out of the house. Oh, I see. Because there's a staircase in front of the window. I'm going to go and look out of my house now. Um, what, just gloating it? Yep. I'm looking out of the window and got it. Okay, so what's going on with this <laughs> ritual business? I would uh, like the... to learn more. Um, and we want to make the Necronomicon as well, which I can't remember. We have a Necronomicon, uh, don't we? Uh, do you yeah, know where I think it so. is. I think it's in a chest over here. I, just... I, I have a feeling I was meant. To, I was supposed to be going mining last well, time. Well, these chickens have been dropping a lot. I just accidentally. Yeah, well, we could do a, a tin. <laughs> necronomicon. Excellent. Okay. So there's a bunch of abyssal crafts and stuff. Like uh, getting the statues. Also, I thought you hated floating blocks. Um, I do actually. I should probably get rid of these. I'm not sure. That, I think there was a reason this was put here, but I have no idea what it was. Yeah. Where, Forbidden knowledge. Where do the ingot? Where do the copper ingots actually go? Yeah, I was wondering what that thing was doing there. <laughs> um, put them into the furnace thing. That's the yeah. I, I think I think thing in the there corner. There was a casting basin oh, missing, which okay. I did, RCX playing around with it. So yeah, I doing. need to get the uh, the blood out of the, the the system first. Get the what out of the system? The blood. Oh, I see. He's got the blood lust in his system, and he needs to get it out of his system. Uh, if he's holding a sword, don't stand too close to him. <laughs> yeah, it's the sacrificial dagger you've got to worry about with the uh, blood magic. Okay, so Abyssal Craft is the mod which this book is used to guide you through. It's mainly focused on exploration with four new dimensions you can explore. Okay. Right. Um... Uh, which you use gateway keys to get to. They create portals between dimensions. Is either uh, six new biomes, the darklands we've already seen, Corallium infested swamp. Okay. Uh, things, rituals, magic, la la la, machines, the transmuting, crystallizing, and materializing objects, and a queen engraver. Is that like one of those things you get in tourist attractions? Where you put the coin in and uh, you have to turn the handle and it. Um, oh. Okay, how do I get back? Rituals. Normal. Information. Okay, you need a ritual altar for rituals. Okay, so do we want to build an altar so that we can do abyssal craft things? Yes, do we have the bits that we need to do so? Uh, we only need cobblestone to start with. Okay. Uh, do you want somebody to go with you on an expedition? Uh, I mean, if someone wants to come with me, sure. Um, well, as far as I know, Aiden says. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. What are we going to find? Uh, some tin. Do I require any particular equipment for that? Uh, I have a, a pickaxe. <laughs> I'm still pickaxe, dude, uh, still pickaxe. Uh, I have a dowsing rod, so I you don't need one as well. I don't. Uh, yes. I don't know that the way to find tin is with a dowsing rod. Yeah. Perhaps something to put the tin in, like a tin tin. Dan, shut up. <laughs> Harsh, but fair. <laughs> uh, now, Mike. Not really. If you are leading this expedition with your rod of dowsing, where are you? I am just oh f in a big hole. Um, uh -huh. this is why he wanted somebody to go with uh, it. Well, okay, I'll say big hole, more small hole, but still. I'm gonna follow Mike's rod, but first we have to find it. <laughs> Mike's rod is in the hole. 
found a chicken. Is that Mike? No. <laughs> I'm gonna say not. Which? Are you near? A, oh, sorry. The mic. I am gonna say. I, I'm sort of nearish where the lake is. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm near my little garden on the lake. Uh, the I'm near the tall tree growing out of the lake. Okay, you're. Uh, yeah, we're down. Not too close to that happening. Oh, oh fuck, I fell down the hole again. Nice. Yeah. It's a bit of a repeating ref refrain, this, isn't it? I'm looking down at your hole to see if I can find Mike, but I, see, I haven't found Mike down any of the holes. Also, do any of you guys have sleeping bags with you? Because I think we're going to want to sleep oh, soon. Uh, uh, I do not. I, I do. Do I? You I do don't... it. I don't either. No. Um, maybe I should go home and get one, actually. Uh, should I just go to sleep, actually? Yeah, let's go to sleep. And then we'll go out on an expedition tomorrow. Uh, RCX, do you want to join me? Uh, yep. I brought my cobblestone teddy to sleep with me. <laughs> oh, you've brought your stone teddy to sleep with you as well. <laughs> it's adorable. Have you set off again, Mike? No, hang on. Oh, shit. Cool. Creep up. I am leading it away from the base. There's two of them. I'm still sure quite near, so this is the arch. But, but Mike doesn't know where that is. You're supposed to say, no, this way. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have watched uh... the Minecraft video. Oh, I hear some Ow. zombies, but I don't see some zombies. Oh, well, I filled in a hole and I have made a hole. There's a sheep out here. Why is there a sheep? Maybe it wandered in to see its friends. Uh, going to have to take everything out of my hands. But I can't because I'm carrying too much crap. Oh, sorry, Mike. Sorry. From that, I'm I think carrying... it, like, found Mike because I'm presuming you wouldn't be apologizing yes. for Mike just at random. Yes. Yes. I, you're under, you're I mean, that, the, well, I'm not yeah. sure if that's a safe I mean, assumption, worse than it's concerned. <laughs> yes, yeah, quite. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Or rather, I rephrase it. She, I don't think she'd be apologizing to Mike if Mike weren't roughly in her presence. But yeah, the vague direction of where she is. Okay. So, how do I use this dowsing? Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, uh, well, you push right it in your hands and you get dowsing. <laughs> If you if you right click uh, when you're looking in a particular direction, it will tell you how many of a given type of ore are in a straight line within 48 blocks. I keep hitting M to look at the map and forgetting that it just takes me to a map of the soil. Yes, I also keep doing that. Um, Do we want this um, the the mm, altar the abyssal altar to be like enclosed so that Creepers, do not blow it up. RCX, um, that was mainly for you. It's probably a good idea. So how does this work in terms of, like, distance up and down? Does it only do it if it's directly in front of you? Or, it, or is up and down acceptable? Like, it, it looks it like it's in your line of sight. So you probably want to point, look straight down and right-click with it. Uh, okay. We're deep underground right now, but other than that... Okay, so found tier light six. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Five. Okay, so there's some down here. Uh, maybe we should have bought some torches. I have some. Ah, good I thought ahead. I have played Minecraft. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so there's some tear light straight down here. Maybe I, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have not done that. That was probably not the best move. I, I, um, I, I, I assumed you had a plan to get out. Uh, I mean, I have a pickaxe. <laughs> But that constitutes a, a pickaxe is almost as good a, as a plan. Yeah, I think that's why this place is. Uh... Excavated the ground under me, and now I too am in his <laughs> home. Uh, okay. There we go. Now we can get out. Okay, there is an underground cavern down here. As opposed to an above ground cavern. Well, indeed. Oh, with a creeper. Oh, oh, another creeper. Oh, fire. <laughs> Ed just that like, was got the second yeah. creeper. <laughs> 
Are you still alive, Mike? I am still alive. Yes. Uh, to your right are coming a conga line of zombies, though, just so you know, behind you. Uh, I apparently... Do I have to... Shit. Tame a bed or something? Why, why did you respawn? Um, on top of a hill. Oh, is it the hill where we started? Oh shit, run, 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 alive. run. I'm just still alive. Uh, okay, I would not run deeper into eat. the cave. Eat. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, right. Zombie chair, and I'm over here, come on. Oh god. Oh, hey, Ed, you found the village. Um, I have, but I'm following my death compass, which tells you that my corpse is somewhere in this direction. Because I am a little concerned it's going to be difficult. Uh, you're at me. Shit. Your, your corpse is in front of me. Uh, but I'm also trying to... And also, of course, I have to find where, off the mic. where the hole begins. Oh, I see a mic. Uh... Oh shit, that's another zombie. Uh... Hey boys! No, 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 I said hey boys, not Mike. Okay. Who are you saying hey boys to? Because you sound like a Wonderbra advert. Zombies. Uh -huh. Zombies can have first too. There's so a bunch of tea well, like. Did you say you have a torch? Because a torch right here to mark the bottom of the stair would be really useful. Okay, there's tons of tea light around here. I think it must be a bit deeper though. What does it look like? What uh, colour is the um, I found the up in the calcite. Thing. Okay. Sorry, Ed? I mean, I can hear zombies and I found feral calcite. Indeed. I assume that. I don't know if feral calcite is useful, but. It's I mean, it may just be a type of stone, to be honest. Uh, we could probably does, do with some look more. like a type of stone. So it's a stone, but it's called ferro something. That's a bit it's ironic. It's called yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's why it looks like cobblestone. Cause... But it also has stone in the name, which is what I think Dan is thinking. Yeah. Is. No, I'm just making a joke about ferro and ironic. I got it. Darling. I see. Yeah. Uh, we could I do some you more better torches than that, down here, I think. I hoped you were better oh, than really? that, Ed. And I guess we were both disappointed. Uh, uh, I can hear a skeleton like, again. Uh, sorry, I sorry, do we mean shout? Mike! Yes, I found some tear light, yes. Okay, well, I also have some. Okay, good. I have many, in fact. Uh, uh, should we slow down here? Oh, um, I, I see it. We, should we sleep again? Sleep is probably a good idea. Oh wow! I mean, that, yeah, there's a huge chamber of it here. Ed? Yeah. But mine's the fancier, and I can live here now. There's a there's a buffalo totem in mine. Wow, oh. there's a lot. Wow, wow, yeah, there's a lot in here. Um, that probably means that like uh, we'd already set it up. And there's a ladder. Ah. Ah, oh, that sounds something like final would have done. Yes, except he didn't bother to mark it on the map. <laughs> I see. He marked it on the map in the way that I didn't expect, I think. The way that you didn't expect. Well, you expected every way other than this one. I, I expected it to be... I, I, uh, I'm not sure creeper. why. Ooh, I could do with gunpowder, actually. Ed? Yes. Sir. Um, there's some gunpowder in the chest. I, uh, yeah, I do have some. Oh, I, oh, I suspect... Guess that's no gunpowder. Space-wise, this might be a bit more. I have sounds of both zombies and skeletons down here. Oh, that is not very surprising. Yeah. Indeed. It's just what caves sound like. Yep. Mainly because of all the zombies and skeletons. Clarifying that, Dad. Apparently, you needed it clarifying. I wonder if this ferrocalcite stone is like some kind of indication that there's metal by. Iron and calcium, perhaps? Indeed. Iron and calcium are the perfect indicator of there being tin nearby. <laughs> well, quite. <laughs> that's what we found here, right? <laughs> I assume that at some point I'm going to meet these zombies and skeletons by turning them through the wall and meeting them. 
You might meet Sirs at some point by tunneling through them. <laughs> this is honest. the thing that happens when you're tunneling through walls. Not the Sirs thing, the skeletons and zombies thing. That's what I, that's what I was asking about. Also, uh, listen out for bubbling or sort of <laughs> sight sounds uh, that aren't zombies. I realize that was an unclear noise, but lava, so be careful. Uh, you'll also, uh, some of the blocks will appear lighter as well, Ed. So just, uh, as in with a light source coming from behind them, rather than just don't dig down. Don't dig into the lava and fall in. Yes. <laughs> digging, digging directly downwards is generally a bad idea. Oh. Um, I have made an altar. It was quite noisy. Aha. Ooh. All terrific. Hey. Oh dear. It's the wrong. arcane uh, circle. Yes, that's quite arcane. <laughs> so it is an arcane. Ed, you're the only one with a backpack, aren't you? I actually I don't have a this. backpack. Oh, yes you do. What's on your back? <laughs> you're wearing something on your back. It's Mike, isn't he? Have a look at him. I'm wearing a leather tunic. And a backpack. Pant and boots. If I have a backpack, I don't you know what... You have a use. backpack. Thank you. <laughs> how, are they, no, no. how do I use it? Uh, so... Car, I think? Well, let's uh, find I out. think it might be one of those things you need to bind. I think it's one of those things you need to bind. Uh, I, I bound it to B. Sorry, Bat. You're annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> Ruthless, isn't she? Yep. We could do a ritual of fertility. It breeds nearby animals, might also kill all of them if unlucky enough. I feel like I should have done this closer to the farm or further away. Yes, one or the other. <laughs> So, yeah, so how much of this do we actually feel like do we actually need to get? Yes, my quite a valid point. Because even despite my ages spent dicking around with a backpack, um, packing around with a dick back. Go um, on! Going with this, um, I still have like a full stack and more. I have like three stacks. I have four. And so, yeah, and like how much? Loaded. Yeah. So yeah, how much do we actually need? Because there comes a point where we're just mining it pointlessly. Um, like a good oh, few stacks. That that's not. It a, might be that's worth like, like the least helpful thing yeah. you've said since earlier today. <laughs> you could, um, I mean, like I would honestly keep mining like until most of it's been mined out. I, we you know how much of it there is. I am happy to just keep mining. I, I don't mind carrying on if you two wanted to go back, um, so that, you know... Oh, we, oh no, we've got to get, um, what was what was RCX's ever so careful definition? <laughs> Quite a few. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some amount. <laughs> uh, sleeping? Eddie, are you sleeping, Ed? I will anyone else? be in a second. I'm sitting in bed with my sword out. Okay, it looks like I have to actually go up to the surface to sleep. Do you? Well, I, I, I haven't got a sleeping bag. I've got a tippy. Oh, well, that was silly. Uh, you haven't got a sleeping bag either, Mike, so like... No, that's true, but... That was silly. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> At least I just forgot, as opposed to deliberately choosing to bring the thing that's useless. Sleeping bags wear out. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. <laughs> I'm not sure that makes it any better, really. However, it turns out that there's a lot of skeletons up here. In your closet. Well, the stream is thrilling right now, because there's just, like, two of us asleep. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm sure. I, I'm not sure what me and Ed would, I'm not sure what me and Ed were doing is particularly thrilling either. <laughs> I'm just standing here whacking rocks with a pickaxe. So you're whacking off with a pickaxe. Whacking rocks with a pickaxe. Um... <laughs> we'll still be missing final sight next week, but we'll be learning something about Sirs as RCX and I await the triumphal return of Mike's mining party. 
If you haven't already subscribed, do it now so you don't miss out. And I'll look forward to your company again next week.